Hi, thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Rob Hughes. Good afternoon. I'm Gravier Densa. Karen Greer is on assignment as part of our CBS 46 Vaccine Day. Today, we have devoted to informing you about all things connected to the vaccine. So here's a live look at CBS 46's Vaccine Day phone bank. We're answering your questions all day today. The telephone number is on your screen right now. If you have any questions, our panel of experts is here for you. Public health experts ready to answer your questions all day today. It's everything you need to know as the nation races to get everyone vaccinated. Our panel of distinguished experts stepping in to explain the vaccination effort underway and help you make decisions on what's next for you and your family. Now on Saturday, Georgia recorded its deadliest day. More than 13,300 Georgians have lost their lives to the coronavirus. Nationally, the case count has dropped more than 30% over the last two weeks. So far, more than 1.1 million people have received at least the first shot in Georgia. Statewide, that's just over 8%. Only 2% have both shots, and nationally, 31 million have received at least one shot. There is a lot of ground to cover for you this afternoon, and our CBS 46 vaccine team is tracking all of it. We'll begin with Karen Greer. She's at the Poison Control in Atlanta, where there's a phone bank that's all fired up, ready to take your questions. Uh, Karen, they were up in Adam early today. Yes, they were. Started about 8 this morning, Gavir Rob, and it has been busy ever since. We are talking just since 8, about 181 calls here. The number 888-357-0169. All kinds of calls from where can I go to get the vaccine to uh, what if I have a rash on my arm? What do I do? What, what should I take? And um, also some questions from people who are concerned they got the first dose and perhaps lost their jobs and it's time to get the second dose and they can't go to where they used to work. So those are the kinds of things we are dealing with. Uh, the person that's really been heading this all up from the Georgia Poison Control Center, and it makes sense for you all to do this because you've handled H1N1, you've handled Katrina Relief, is Dr. Gaylord Lopez. I've known him for 30 years now doing this, and this has just been an amazing type of you know, effort that you all have had to put together. Right, well, we've had this long-standing relationship with state public health, and when they come a-calling, we start helping the Georgia residents. And it's our job to be able to provide information in a timely manner, and we hope people will call us about their questions about the vaccine. Well, they're definitely calling, as you see, and you said it, it, it would be no surprise to get 600 calls today just from because you also have health care workers who are calling in with questions. That's correct. They're asking about how they can enroll as a provider. They're asking about allotments of vaccine shipments. So this is the place where all those answers are hopefully found. And Dr. Gaylord Lopez really been busy trying to man these lines. We've got two sites where they actually do all of this call in. So we're going to check back in just a bit and talk to perhaps one of the people on the call center line to see what kinds of questions they're getting. So live at the Georgia Poison Control Center in Atlanta, Karen Greer, CBS 46 News, back to you in the studio. Yeah, that